नमस्ते दिस इज त्रुवीन एंड इन दिस एपिसोड आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट डिफरेंट कॉलम ऑपरेशन इन पावर एप्स वी विल टॉक अबाउट एड कॉलम्स रीनेम कॉलम्स ड्रॉप कॉलम्स एंड शो कॉलम्स फंक्शन इन डेप्थ ऑल्सो वी विल चेक आउट द डिफरेंट रियल लाइफ यूज केसेस एंड सिंटेक्स थ्रू आउट दिस वीडियो सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड बट बिफोर दैट इफ यू हैवन फॉलोड मी ऑन माई ट्विटर व्हाट्सअप ब्रॉडकास्ट और इंस्टाग्राम प्लीज डू फॉलो मी here i am on my machine and first of all let me show you the example so for this overall example i have created one collection called employees and over here you can see the different column like employee id first name last name department and salary now here i have printed the same collection in one of the data table over here in the power apps page now First of all let's try to understand the concept of add columns in power platform so basically add columns add a new column in the collection or data source which you have provided remember all of this function do not add rename drop or show columns into the actual data source but whichever data source you have provided on top of that it will create another table as a written output to you So now let's say for an example sometimes we have a scenario like let's say we have a salary column over here i want to add a new column called grade and it is a conditional column like let's say if salary is less than 50000 then a2 grade otherwise it should be a1 grade then how can we create such a column in power apps so let's have a look for that we will use add columns function so here i have taken one button and let's get started so in add column so in add columns function the first parameter is your source so here i am providing my collection as a source which is my employee collection then which column you want to create as a new column so let's say i want to create a column called grade so i am providing the name of my column as grade column then which expression you wanted to provide over here so let's say here i want like if salary is less than so i can simply write an expression if this record this record dot salary because salary is the one of the column and for each row we want to perform this expression so if this record dot salary is greater than 50000 then let's provide a grade as a1 otherwise let's provide a grade as a2 that's it finish the bracket and let's complete the formula let's format the text and this is how the formula looks like now let's hover over it and see what output we are getting here so whenever i look the, look at this output by selecting this entire formula you can see that grade column has been created successfully over here and you can also compare in this way let's say here salary is 55000 so the grade is a1 50000 is a2 right 48000 is a2 right so it is working absolutely fine so this is how you can use add columns to create your conditional formula now let's move one more level up let's say for an example i want to calculate the tax amount so i want to deduct 30% tax from overall salary and after that i want to calculate the new salary as well net salary and after that i want to calculate net salary as well so how can i perform this let's have a look for that let's select the button and let's start writing our code so first write an expression add columns first is source employees let's calculate the tax amount so i am creating a column named tax amount then i need to provide an expression expression should be salary 30% okay so i can use salary point 0.30 okay this is the way it will work or you can also write this record dot salary point 30 that will also work okay let's have a look and check the output first so you can see that i can clearly see the tax amount okay 
Now, net salary is the salary minus tax amount. Okay, so tax amount is already one of my calculated column or custom column. Okay, let's format the text. Now, if you try to create another column in the add column in this way, like net salary. And here, what I want is this record dot salary minus this tax amount. That's what I want to perform. So what I'll do is salary or this record dot salary. You can write anything minus you want tax amount to be subtracted. But you can see that when I use tax amount, it is showing me an error because this column hasn't been created so far because this is one of the column which we have created under add columns. Now, in this kind of case, we can use nested at add columns. So let me remove this stuff from here and let me format the text and let's add one more add column on top of this result. So I will use add columns and after that comma and let's create a new column called net amount. And then let's use a formula salary minus tax amount. So it will work. Or this time, let me use this record dot salary minus this record dot tax amount because this time it will show you that column over here. Finish the bracket and let's have a formula. So this is how the final output looks like. Correct. And now let's hover over it to check the output. So you can see here that I have selected that. So you can see here, this is my tax amount and this is my net amount and which is absolutely fine. 55,000 minus 16,500 is equal to 38,500, which is absolutely correct. So it has created this column successfully. Amazing. Cool. Now let's check one more use case. Sometimes there is a need where we have a collection or a table and we want a blank column to be created at that time. How can we create that? So let's say this was the formula. Okay. And now on top of that, I want one more blank column called year column. Okay. And in this year column, I want a blank value over here. So I can use year as a column and I will use simply blank value over here. Let's format the text and let's see the output. So I'm just clicking on this and you can see here. I have blank year column added into my collection over here. Now let's say here I have employee ID, but let's say I want to rename my column header with employee ID as employee name. So how can I do that? For that, we will simply use rename column function. Okay. So let's just use it. So what I'm simply doing here is I'm writing a formula rename columns. And the first parameter is my collection, which is the old column, which you want to rename employee ID. And what is the new value that you want to rename with, which is my employee number. And we have passed that and let's have a look. And here we are. You can see that employee ID is converted to employee number like this. Let's do one more level up from this particular collection. I only wanted to show the value of employee number and first name. I don't want to show any other column from here apart from employee number and first name. So how can I do that? For that, I can use a formula show columns in show columns, provide the data source name and provide the column name. So let's say I want to add employee ID and first name. Only this two column I wanted to show. So I can provide the name of these two column and that's it. Let's format the text and check the output. And here we are. You can see that I can see only these two columns over here. Let's do one more thing. Like from this data, I wanted to delete salary column and wanted to show the first four column as is. So how can I do that? For that, I will use drop column function. So let me just do in this way. Drop columns. Drop 
columns. Provide the source and let's say which column you want to drop. I want to drop salary column. Select salary column, finish the bracket and let's have a look. Select the code and you can see that from this output now I can't see the salary column over here. Right? So this is how drop column works. So these are the four major expression we have learnt today. We discuss about add columns, rename columns, drop columns and show columns. Add columns simply add a new column into your collection. Rename column simply rename your table header. Drop column will drop your column and show columns will show the only appropriate column which you want to show to the end user. Right? Hope this video helps you and values your time. Tell me in the comment section which expression you wanted to see in my next episode. If you are for the first time to my channel, make sure you hit subscribe and like my video. That motivates me to create such a good content in the future as well. And don't forget to follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. Looking for any paid consultation or training? Website link is available on the channel cover homepage. And you can simply visit the about section for the more information. With this, this is Dhruvin signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.